All right, real quick. Um, this is a response video, really. Uh, I posted up an article about the Nikon Coolpix P7000, which is a really cool camera. I like it, uh, and the PowerShot G12. I mentioned that the G12 can accept a remote, so it would be cool for something like time-lapse photography, um, you know, because you can hook up one of these guys, which is really cheap, uh, to your G12, and you got yourself some time-lapse photography. And someone posted um, a, re a response saying that Nikon has their intervalometer built into the camera, and there's no need to carry an extra remote. Uh, well played, Nikon. Um, you know, touche. So, uh, the only problem is, here you have the Nikon that doesn't accept the remote. It does have a built-in intervalometer, and when I go into the menu here, here's my options. I got 30 seconds, 1 minute, 5 minutes, and 10 minutes. Uh, if any of you guys have ever tried time-lapse photography, 30 seconds between shots is not very smooth. Um, so that's pretty limiting. I don't know how often I'd use uh, this timer remote unless I'm maybe trying to get a flower growing or something like that. But uh, kind of like busy streets or, or something that has a lot of movement, that's just way too much time. 30 seconds between shots is just way too much time for me. Um, so the Canon can accept a intervalometer remote um, and having a remote like this here clear this out having a remote like something like this you know I can do one second I can do two seconds three seconds I mean I can do an hour or even a full day if I wanted to so you, there's much more flexibility in using uh, an external remote like this because um, you know the built-in one here is very very limited 30 seconds is your you know your fastest time so here I could do one second. Uh, another thing that's cool is, you know, it's kind of a manual DSLR camera that uh, you can change to any setting. You have aperture value, shutter priority value, or just full manual. Um, but what's nice about the Canon G12, which I haven't found in the Nikon, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, if you go to scene mode on the G12, you've got HDR. So what it does is it takes a series of three pictures um, gets the dynamic range from those three pictures and puts one picture together automatically. That's all done inside the camera, so you end up with just one picture with some decent dynamic range. It doesn't look posterized like, you know, what the typical HDR photos look like, but it does bring out the shadow detail and it does bring down the highlights, so you get a more balanced exposure all done from the camera. So what's really cool is when I changed it to uh, HDR mode, I don't know if you guys could hear that. You hear those three pictures that fired off there. Um, yeah, I don't have a, a card in here, but I'll let you listen to it. Okay, so you hear it's doing three pictures. It's trying to assemble it into one image, uh, which is what the camera does built in HDR. The reason I'm showing you this is because you can leave this on HDR mode and you get this cheap timer remote for I think you can find it under 20 bucks sometimes. This timer remote, I set it for two seconds, which is enough time for the camera to process three images and put it together. Um, but you could set it, I don't know, any way you want, four, five, ten seconds. But what you're doing is real-time HDR time-lapse photography. Uh, I got to go out and test it. Um, you know, the single image looks really good. I'm not sure how different exposure changes are going to be between shots, but I mean that's just uh, an overall better feature. You know, having an external remote rather than a built-in intervalometer that limits you to just 30 seconds. Um, this one I can literally have it fire off every second, every two seconds, and I also have the feature to do real-time HDR time-lapse photography. So uh, another one up for Canyon, um, just on that feature. Again, Nikon has its own good stuff, and I'm still digging through the bunch, but just want to show you guys real-time HDR time-lapse. be a lot of fun. I'll probably take it out today and test it out.